Hi, it's John Cronshaw here with my author diary for the week, ending June the 11th, 2023. I've had a bit of a busy week. I've been working on a few different projects. So I've been working on Ravenglass Legends Book 1, uh, getting quite deep now into the redrafting of the second point of view of that. Um, so I'm hoping to have that done, don't know, maybe next week, something like that, at least two weeks at most, I think. So it's nearly there. I am working on, I suppose, what you'd call the kind of climactic scenes of that story. Um, also, I have set up a sub-stack. So this is, I don't know what you'd call it, it's almost like a blog and a bit of a, uh, what would you call it, like a subscription thing. Um, also a bit like a newsletter. So what I'm going to use this for is... I've got another project that I have outlined this week. Um, this is going to be called, as a working title, Guild of Assassins. And it is basically a prequel story to the Dawn of Assassins books, but it will tell the backstory of Soren, who is the Master Assassin in the first Dawn of Assassins book. So I am going back to how he became an assassin, um, but I'm going to serialise it. So I'm going to put out a chapter a week on this substack, um, and it's going to be rough and ready. It's going to be in a you know early draft state, so the scenes might not exist in the final book. But what I want to do is put one of these out a week. It'll keep the momentum going with the story. Um, so I'll basically be working on that and the Ravenglass Legends story. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to trying that out. Um, what I will do is, if you are on my newsletter and have been for a while, then you'll be getting some information about that on Wednesday. So that should be exciting. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying out this new thing anyway. And also having a way for readers to kind of see a story evolving as I do it. And they'll probably get access to a lot of things that will not end up in the book because I... You know, I'll write a first chapter, something like that. I tend often to completely delete my first chapters or at least the first scene, something like that. Big chunks just to kind of get you in the middle of an opening scene where there's a lot going on, a lot of a thing to just kind of drop you into the world, drop you into the adventure. And sometimes I have to write into that. So I'll get a feeling for the characters, get a feeling for the world. And then, yeah, so that just ends up, you know, on the cutting room floor, basically. So this will be something that readers will get to see. And yeah, I don't know. It's, it's an experiment because I like the idea of getting feedback, getting comments as I go. Um, you know, I got that in a kind of bigger way with Ravenglass Chronicles because, you know, it was a release in these novellas, what, like every month, every six weeks, something like that. And then getting the feedback and reviews from those as I was going on. So that allowed me to think about the story. And yeah, so this is just another way for me to write a single story. Don't know whether it'll be a series, a standalone, anything like that. I've just been really intrigued by this Soren character. Um and I've you know I've written I think four four or five maybe short stories with this character and obviously the first Dawn of Assassin's book. Um but I want to do a full length standalone novel at least a standalone and then see what happens um, but yeah it's just this kind of backstory that I've had in my mind for a while that I want to tell I want to get in my head um, also I don't want to put Ravenglass Legends aside because then I'll just end up juggling too many projects so what I'm thinking is I work on this project one day a week and the Substack stuff and then the rest of the week will be focused on the Ravenglass Legends stuff until that series is done um so yeah that is going well anyway uh so in terms of reading this week i'm currently reading a book called or is it history's nine most insane rulers um so that is interesting um uh, yeah enjoying that and also watching a documentary on netflix about the roman empire called the roman empire uh, which is narrated by sean bean um so yeah enjoying that yeah it's a bit cheesy but you know it's it's all story fuel. I enjoyed watching the episode, first episode about uh, Marcus Aurelius and all that good stuff. 
Um, what else? Yeah, and I've been watching a program with my wife called Killing Eve, which is about a female assassin, and it is really dark, really good characterization. Um, I think it's written by the same person who did Fleabag, but it's not a comedy at all. It's just very dark, kind of uh, stalkery crime stuff. So, yeah, it's not for the faint-hearted, that's for sure, but it is really well done. Um, so next week then, next week I've actually got a talk that I'm doing. Um, so this is for the Rotary Club in Morecambe, and I will be doing a talk about Jacob Epstein, who was a subject of my PhD. Now, what I wanted to do was do a talk. You know, I got invited to do, I think it was 30 minutes. And I basically wanted to do something that I know inside out, where I don't have to spend too much time preparing. I mean, obviously, I'm going to do slides and have a, um, you know, kind of plot out what I'm going to say. But this is stuff I can do standing on my head. I know it inside and out. Even after, you know, I finished my PhD something like 12 years ago um but yeah that stuff that research is still all bubbling away in my head um so the reason i'm doing that as well is you know it's good kind of public speaking experience it's paid and the money will go to help guide dogs so i'm doing it for charity so that raising a bit of money for guide dogs doing a half hour talk that'll be good yeah good experience so I will let you know how that goes. So until next time, cheerio.